having completed the facility upgrade at the Chemical Engineering Department of the University of Lagos and handed over to the institution in 2013 for use, Executive Secretary PTDF Olufemi Ajayi said the need to ascertain the level of maintenance of the facility necessitated the visit to the institution. For us, uh, we believe that the way forward for our fund is actually the empowerment of our universities so that we will not need to send as many scholars outside the country. That department is a key department of the university. It has two programs, we have chemical engineering and we have local colleagues, that is the curriculum uh, and gas engineering. And uh, we've been trying to put the two programs because they are key to the nation. The facilities upgraded include an engineering building, a 250 capacity ultra modern lecture theatre, two laboratories for chemical and petroleum engineering practicals, and five additional lecture rooms. Others are computer and ICT room, e library, workshop for students' practicals and projects, seminar room, and two borehole facilities. We begin to add more value to our crude oil, and when the price of crude slums, the impact will not be as bad as currently is. And because we have the viral petrochemical industry now, Right, uh, that again will be yielding significant revenue to, to, to the country. Executive Secretary PTDF emphasized the need to support citadels of learning to produce world class professionals that would develop key sectors of the economy. This, he says, necessitated the fund's intervention in universities. We need to develop the petrochemical industry in our country. You cannot do this without the manpower. The idea is build the capacity of our universities so that they will be in a position to produce more oil and gas professionals. PTDF officials say, apart from the University of Lagos, 25 other universities across the country have benefited from the PTDF facility upgrade intervention. <laughs> <laughs>